Hello, mushroom mug. All right, a little update. Last night, I spent a couple hours prepping the walls, cleaning them, getting rid of any excess dirt, any oils so that the paint can really stick to the walls. I put a bunch of painter's tape along the trim so that we can keep it white. And basically, the walls are all ready for the sketching and soon to be painting. So let's get started. So the cherry blossom trees and our lovely crane are all sketched out on the white wall. You can tell in the second tree that I kind of gave up on the details, but it didn't matter so much because it's a little sketch. And up here we have a little alien reaching for a ray of the sunburst. I had to redo this about three times because I was so indecisive. I thought that while I roll some clips of the mural process that I'll tell you some background on my inspiration for this mural. After two years of living nomadically, carrying my whole life in a suitcase and hopping from New York, Mexico City, Milan, Tokyo, and London, I've finally started roots in a new home in New York City. The cherry blossom trees symbolize my ability to have a place to call home and are also a tribute to my one year stay in Tokyo. The style I chose was very reminiscent of classic wallpaper design, Art Nouveau line work, and Gaudi's flowing architecture. And I decided to hide various icons in the mural, which you'll see later, that represent my friends, kind of like spirit animals. It started with these alien bunnies that I had sketched a lot in my sketchbook. I actually painted my 2021 sketchbook cover with a similar sage green and gold, like the mural, with a lot of flowing lines and hidden aliens. On the second wall, which I'll show in the next video, it has a lot more hidden icons. And I've found from the two methods that I've tried, the first being painting around my sketch on the white wall versus sketching on top of the sage green and creating more of a seamless design that I prefer the first method. For me, it's easier to visualize when I sketch on white rather than the green. It takes longer, but in the end, I don't go back so much to paint over because in the second cherry blossom tree, I ended up redoing it too many times and it still isn't really my favorite. I know many of you guys may be wondering how I'm able to paint the walls in a rental. Well, luckily my landlord is pretty flexible and I asked her email for her permission and she said as long as I paint it back when I move out that it's okay. I really hope I don't have to paint it over anytime soon though because honestly I'm really in love with this apartment. Alright, a little update for you guys. I just finished painting the base coat of the moss bench green color and you know the painting anxiety is kicking in you could say um, it's a bit more green than I expected I thought it would be more of like an aqua color because you know on the bucket it kind of like the paint stir it looks very aqua but in person it just it looks more more of a green than a bluish so I'm gonna take a little break. I'm gonna meet my friend in Central Park and just spend a bit of time in nature, clear my head, and also get away from the paint fumes, basically. Let the first coat dry, and I'll come back and take another look at it. No brown crunchy ones, right? Day one is almost over and after my night walk through the park, I added a bit of gold paint to the sunburst and called it a night. Alright, here we go with day two. Day one and day two, I was extremely motivated and got a lot of work done within both days. I was working basically morning till sunset and day two was mainly about adding details in, filling in all the negative space on the cherry blossom trees. The first cherry blossom tree was by far my favorite. 
I think the shape just like really made sense to me. It just felt really natural, but also like kind of abstract, you know? Here comes the learning process. This second cherry blossom tree ended up looking more like an oak tree and I ended up painting over it and redoing it many a times. For some reason on a darker color instead of the white it was just really hard to visualize it as a whole. I tried adding some palm leaves to the second tree but it really didn't make any sense to me so I ended up painting over those as well. Here we are on day four, adding the pink cherry blossoms to the branches and shading the crane's wings, just adding a little bit of pink to the tips. going in and extending some line work from the centerpiece of the mural and kind of freestyling most of it. Here are the results of the first wall. Stay tuned for wall two.